Uh, Van is an engineer in 3D printing. And uh, yes. Hi, Bunny. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm so happy to have you. I really do appreciate. I really do appreciate you to come. I know you're very busy and, um, you know, you took time to come and uh, spend some time here. And my viewers, uh, you know, are very honored to have you. So, Bunny, uh, I know we have uh, very common experiences, me and you. We uh, we did research together, yeah, but you were doing uh, in another you know uh, area, or that was doing. I was also doing in another area. And when we went, when we, when we were in the class in that research, we had certain commonalities because we were also much older compared to the students who were there, me and you. So we 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 used to chat a lot and just laugh. So yeah, so you guys, Ben is a very good friend of mine as well. So. Would you please introduce yourself? Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Kristen. Um, it's really an honor for me to be here. Uh, well, uh, my name is Benny. I, uh, I studied for my master's degree. I studied uh, manufacturing systems engineering, but primarily my interest was in additive manufacturing. Uh, in my... Uh, my background for my bachelor is in um, architecture. I did uh, a bachelor of architecture and um, my associate's degree is also in architecture. I currently work as a project manager at an architecture firm, but uh, my personal interest is uh, primarily additive manufacturing and specifically as it relates to buildings. And um, recently we've seen uh, We've been seeing uh, trends in, in additive manufacturing in construction and how it changes the way designers design buildings nowadays because of the, the, these new technologies in the way buildings are built. Uh, I think that's, that's it. <laughs> wow. Thank you so much, Brandy. So um, <clears throat> I would like to see, how did you start your stem if you can share with my viewers how did it start uh is it when you were young or is it when you're older how did your stem start i think for me um it was just just the curiosity that i had that the the field of design couldn't couldn't satisfy correct uh it's it's great to be to be in a design environment be a designer and you know uh, just create beautiful things but at, at the end of the day, we have to make sure that those, whatever we create, it just works, functionality. And that is not to say that designers don't necessarily think about those things, we do, but uh, I wanted a little more than that. I had an idea that a house, a building, because I was trained to design buildings. So yes. my, my, uh, my idea was that a building uh, could be treated as a product, and yes. and we are currently seeing the the manufacturing processes that you know are um, generally speaking meant for uh, manufacturing of uh, 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 manufacturing of products like small parts are being used in the building industry to print yes. buildings. So that started that clicked my um, that was just an idea that I wanted to do a master's in engineering because because of its technicality and I enjoy it being in a you know technical environment so and I did look up some some uh, schools and I found that manufacturing systems engineering seems to be what I'm interested in because it deals with the way products are are made are yes. manufactured and the product really it just depends on you know, us as individuals to de define what the product is. But um, I think that's how I started. And uh, I, I really enjoyed those two years of um, uh, graduate school. Um, it was it was where I learned a lot. Uh, I, I feel like that the engineering school made me a better designer because now I can think holistically and, and bring both fields together. Yeah. Wow. 
So again, guys, I was in the same research with Barney. He was working on 3D printing. And uh, so I would like him to maybe just give us a glimpse of what is 3D printing? Uh, if you may just explain in few simple terms. He's an expert in 3D printing, guys. You know, as to the extent of printing almost cells. I used to be so amazed every time he shows me, Kirsten, look at this. I'm like, okay, man. <laughs> so what is 3D printing? Yeah, I, I thank you, thank you, but I don't think I'm an expert in anything. I'm just, I'm just um, someone who is interested in uh, this technology. But yeah, for sure. Um, so basically, 3D printing is uh, is printing an object uh, layer by layer. So you're looking at a solid object, but it's printed in a layer by layer. So the way it's done, it usually starts with a 3D CAD model. Um, you, there are um, several 3D modeling uh, software out there. Um, if your viewers are students, there are many uh, free versions of uh, these softwares available. Yes. They can, they can just sign in and use and learn the software. So they, it, it starts from there. Uh, you know, you have an idea and you, you basically model that uh, idea and it becomes a 3D model then you, that model is being is will have to be transferred to a different file format so that the slicer or you know the next step could be achieved so yes. you after the model is done you you send it to a uh, 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 you save it as a what we call stl file yes which uh, and then it, it goes to a slicer Basically, the way these objects are printed is that once you have a solid model and you send it to a slicer, it is a program that slices. Uh, imagine an apple, you slice it in um, you know, tiny slices. That's how 3D printing works. And then it uses different technologies to print each one of those layers yes. or slices. So uh, that's basically the, the, you know, how 3D printing works in general. But there are many, many um, different technologies that use different uh, mechanisms to to basically achieve this process. Um, yes. We have we have three D printers that use uh, liquid um, liquids like resin, photo curable resins. Uh, we have uh, what we call FDM, which is fused deposition modeling. It uses mm -hmm. plastic, and yes. it, plastic basically is um, goes to a hot end, and it mm -hmm. just melts it. And so when it, the, 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 CNC, the, the machine runs, it just extrudes that melted plastic and builds the object layer by layer. We also have powder-based uh, 3D printers. Those are capable of printing polymers, metal, and all kinds of stuff. And uh, the, the project that you mentioned, the research project, we um, had it printed uh, out of uh, titanium. Uh, you know, we used a metal 3D printing uh, technology. So it's a very exciting field. Uh, we have, we see, we see it in say aerospace. We see it in uh, construction nowadays. We see it in um, consumer products, uh, regardless of their uh, materiality. They, they just, uh, it seems like a better, more efficient uh, manufacturing process. Um, you know, compared to um, the CNC machining or subtractive additive manufacturing or wow. subtractive manufacturing. <laughs> that is interesting. Guys, if you have questions, please feel free to ask. These are scientists, engineers, and feel free to ask any questions. Oh, my God. Thank you so much, Bernie. So what would you say to a boy growing up or a girl growing up? You know, my passion is to encourage girls, you know, boys to enter into this career i have so many reasons why they should enter into this career but what would you say to a boy or a girl burning growing up yeah um i would say if you're interested in um in solving a problem if you're interested in any sort of science math if you if it's something that excites you whenever you think about it um i think you should do it uh, science, uh, engineering, mathematics, they're not necessarily hard subjects or 
or uh, necessarily uh, hard, difficult to learn. It just requires uh, a little more work. And if you're interested in them, if you have a passion for it, just go for it and do it. And don't let the mathematics uh, keep you away from, from achieving your goals. Because I feel like science and engineering is, is the best way one can make an impact. So if you, if you study engineering and, and later on you, you just realize that there is a problem that your skills can solve that, that how great is that? It's, it's amazing to see. Um, there are so many, um, so many engineers that are making impact. Uh, there is, a, there is this, this lady, uh, he graduated with a mechanical engineering degree that I really, I really um, admire her. Uh, she, she started a company just making toys for girls, encouraging them uh, to pursue STEM by uh, mm -hmm. giving them, you know, the toys that they would need. Um, yes. So that was one way that she solved the problem. So I think I would say just go for it, do it, and find help, or find like-minded people. Uh, if you're in, uh, you know, in school, find counselors that can. Um, can guide you through, um, you know, whatever the, you're trying to achieve and just do it. It's, it's not difficult. Uh, it requires a little more work uh, on your end, but, but it's doable. A lot of people have done it and it's just, um, and it's rewarding. It's very rewarding to be an engineer, to be a scientist. It's very rewarding and tell them that it's very lucrative. Yes. So they know that it's a good career. Yes. Yes. Wow. Thank you, Bani. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. I know you're very busy, but please, I would love to have you again on my show. 